I can't disclose the location of where I'm filming because of what happens. Holy shit. But stay tuned for exhilarating action. I know that's damaged growth from from insect attack and the fact that branches are missing from the top but you know, there is still beauty there isn't there? So, sorry I'm not looking at the camera I'm just looking off into stuff so yeah we're um many years ago my father marked a number of things on a map from here so, and I don't know what he marked. It's very possible that he marked some old trees. So uh, I'm here with my daughter and we're gonna have a, an investigation of granddad's mark, map markings. And obviously buried treasure. <laughs> First go. Well, we haven't been here in here long and already we're lost. We've, I've got a map with me because there are particular things I want to find, but we, all, we already don't know where we are. And it, because some of the tracks seem to have disappeared. So, oh well, that's how it is, isn't it? So uh, anyway, yeah, <laughs> who knows where we're going to end up. I've probably walked past some of these things he marked and we're not going to find them. Oh, is that it? It's a, it's a dead tree. Yeah. Remains of an ancient behind that little one. Because what happened with the 87 storm, it blew down a lot of old trees. But if you've seen anything on my Woodland Temple channel, you will have seen this tree. Only it was in the rain that day. And its friend beside it. But look at that. This is one of those places where I love to come for chestnuts. Here's to lovely old beach. Don't quite know how old they are. Yeah, excuse the shaky camera work. <laughs> the reason that's so shaky is because of the positions I have to get into to get these shots for you. But here we are, I was right. This is one of the ones. This is the one he marked on and it's now dead. I mean, that would have been massive. I wonder if we can, you can see how much has grown up around it since it's been gone. Uh, let's see if we can get in there. Yep, here she is. Well, looking at that, in, as a diameter goes, that's over a metre across. And I'm not sure what that mushroom is. 
it's not honey fungus, so that's something, I suppose. Okay, so there's one I can cross off the list. I bet it came down in the 87 storms. I bet that's what, what hit it. Okay, the jays. They go crazy in autumn. Ah, <gasps> spindle! <laughs> Oh, I love a spindle. Well, seeing as we're here, we saw that gleaming trunk in the sunlight and thought we'd better go and investigate that one. But uh, it's interesting that, um, uh, looks like they do woodland crafts here. Yeah, we'll have a look at this one, because also, well, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. So what we're doing along this path is I've remembered that along here there is an old woman in a tree and we're going to go and say hello to her. This is quite interesting in here, isn't it? Like, there's nothing going on below. It's all in the canopy. Same with these. some oaks through there. Did you hear the owl? They are out in the day at the moment. What with it being autumn time. There she is, still there, doing her thing. Hail crone! Oh, there's another dead one in there, dead big one. Because uh, cause stuff's grown up around it, I can't show you it, but... Anyway, let's, yeah, I'm trying to avoid the dead, but I wanted to explain to you you know, just show you some of the dead bigger trees because that's what's happened. And I, I think it was to do with the the eighty seven storm that I've spoken about in uh, the it was like a hurricane video that you can find. <laughs> I'll link it if I can remember. But you know, when you do a long video, it's hard to remember what you've said on it and to link everything that's relevant. So uh, so that's a good excuse for repeating myself, isn't it? So we're on to this one now. I think we're gonna sit and have something to eat, maybe.
crossroads, eh? Oh, there's a nice beach up there. Oh no, decisions. I think we're going to go this way. I did say I was going to stop, but there's a few little clump of beach here, and four, five, four, and an oak tree over there. Another one gone. Well, here's a good example of what I was telling you about how a tree only needs the very edge of the bark or the area just inside to live. Look at that. And there it is. That's the bit. We've just crossed an energy line and I've gone through a portal. All my hairs stood on end and my stomach did a lurch. So for anyone who wants to know how to douse, that's what you listen for. Or well, that's what I listen for, my stomach goes. And I start to buzz. Because I went back over it and I got the same feeling. I've done that thing that I often do. I've come around in a circle. There's the two beach we came through. But let's have a look at this while we're here. Look at that, another old tree. Nice old fat bottomed oak. I don't believe it, I don't believe it. I actually quite like coming around in circles. Because it just, it just feels great to know that you've been somewhere and you've gone round and you've come back again to a place 
that you really loved being at. <laughs> so, uh, one day I'll tell you my Winnie the Pooh story. Yeah, uh, Winnie the Pooh and the Heffalump, I think it's in. And uh, yeah, I did it. Sadly, when you pan up, it gets a bit dark. There's two of the oldest trees I've seen in a while, in the same shot. That one to the left behind doesn't, you know, it's bigger than the one we're looking at, but yet in this here, it doesn't look like that at all. Oh, there's another one down here as well. Not this one, but uh, I'm going to pan over. Pan is over. And there's another one. And there's that one. Nicely framed. Another dead one. The feel of an oak woods is unique. Oak woods and bracken here. <gasps> Look at that through there. Wow. like a slug's had this over doesn't it look at that slimy trail and the mushroom knocked over <laughs> doesn't take a genius to work that out does it The clearance. <laughs> no, the clearing. And the clearance is a far nastier thing. That's got an interesting feel up in there. And some silver birch. Look. I think we're going down this way until we get lost. <laughs> Which is a possibility now. Because <laughs> I kind of like it. But as well as it being ancient forest, there are also burial mounds and earthworks here, as well as an ancient British road comes through here. Now, I don't know which one. I'm assuming it's part of the Ridgeway. Yeah, it must be. But it's on the map as a Roman road. But it isn't, because if it was a Roman road, this would be Italy. I'm <laughs> sorry to go on, but it's true. Oh, there's another old one. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> That's my sound of having found, found somewhere. We, we've got to go in there. We've got to go in there. Come in here. Come and see this beauty. There, look at that. 
Isn't that incredible? That's what you call a knobbly beach, isn't it? We've just disturbed a deer as well. At least I hope it was a deer and not a panther. Holy shit. Okay, uh, did you hear it? Did you hear? That was a panther. We were meters away. It gave us a warning growl. That was a warning growl, wasn't it? Uh -huh. Fuck me. <laughs> I bet my face looks different. Shit in hell. Now we've got to go along a place that we don't know, but... Fuck it now. Is uh, Ilvi still on me? Yeah. That's going to take some. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, when, when you feel safe, enough. Do you want to stop for a minute? Not till we're safe. <laughs> yeah, I'll say, <laughs> just say immediately that you feel like you can stop and we can stop because we need to get you, we need to get you calmed down. <laughs> okay, well we have a hundred percent just disturbed a panther. It was literally by us. I mean, see that tree there? That's how, that's how close we were. And that is the one, two, third time, fourth, no third. That's the third time I've met it in the here. Sure, we didn't see it, but you'll hear the growl on the footage. I'll, try, I'll, <laughs> I'll turn that up, there's no way that was a deer. Shit, do we run like fuck? Quit out the back and run like bloody fuck. I can't run like bloody fuck fast enough. <laughs> I, you're not hanging around. I mean, it's a wood, so it's not, not so bad. But I don't know what I'd do if it was on the hunt. But there was, there was some reason why it was staying there and not moving. <sighs> oh. There's another panther story. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do them in order because I've got over seven. I think I've got, I think I've got seven of them now. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Hopefully, tell her. <laughs>